Jack. You're tired? No, tired. that's okay, Jack. I'm tired. All right. Hey, now you know what I tell you. Get right in there, old boy. You know what I told you. Do what I say. How are you feeling? Oh, I feel great. Oh, that's great. That's the old spirit. Bill, work on this right leg a little, will you, please? Oh, they are. Give me my sweetheart. Hello, Eddie. How are you? Oh, Molly. <laughs> You'll catch one of them yet. Now, ain't you funny, Mr. Winch? Did you get my ticket, Eddie? Sure, you go right to the train from here. You know, Mother must be pretty sick or Mary wouldn't have wired me. I'm kind of worried. Oh, she'll be all right, kids. Go in there and win. You know, Jimmy, give him that left hook. You know? Leave that to me. Atta boy. Hello, Jimmy Nolan. <laughs> What is it, Hank? Oh, just more of those congratulations and best wishes. I want to see that telegram. Oh, but they're all the same, Jimmy. He's dead. Your mother, kid. All ready for the main event, fellas. Come on, hurry it up. Come on, cheer up. Snap out of it. You know what it means. Come on, go up and give your best. What a crowd. What a crowd. In just a few minutes, folks, we'll have Jimmy Nolan in the ring against Joe Diamond. They tell me these boys are in the pink of condition. This is going to be a great fight. Here they come. Hey, Kate, you've got enough. Fifty bucks is enough on these punks. Go You're ahead. telling me I've squandered enough, Kate. I'll be sitting right over here. Yeah, but I'm no piker boy.
See that arm, Jimmy. I'm afraid you've torn some of those ligaments. Let that arm alone. Go on, get my clothes, get my bag. But Jimmy, Jimmy. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get a train. Go on. Blake, get Donovan. Get that ticket. Go on, get my shoes off, right. will you, Bill? Okay. Come on, somebody get my gloves off, will you? Come on, I better get out of here. I'm in a hurry. Oh, boy, this is sure got the pipe racket. Oh, uh, uh, elephant. Uh, Hey, look out for the kid's leg. Oh, yeah. And you said this Palooka was in here. What do you want to me? Well, here we got our money on it. Come on, Mike. At least, Luca. I bet the Michael beats in this street, guys. It's all right. What do you want to bet? What do you want I bet you'll fight. It's all right. Oh, bet me five. I bet you'll fight. On who? On the big guy? I'll get on the little. Listen, I'll bet you. Hey, look out for the kid's leg. I tell you, this is no match. Oh, come on, am I get at that big balloon? Sorry, old bitch. Oh, let's get anything. Sorry, this guy's. No, 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 listen, you don't know that. Well, what are you talking about? I won, didn't I? That's all right. Well. If it ain't Jimmy Nolan. How are you, Hank? Glad Fine. to see you. Hello there, Bill. Hi, Hiya, boy. Jimmy, you look great. When did you get in town? Just a couple of days ago, Hank. I brought my little sister along. Got to fix up a home for us. Well, that's fine. How's the old arm? Not so good, Hank. Came down to have Doc Kramer take a look at it. All right, he's right in his office here. Say, keep him busy here now. Yeah, okay, boy. Well, say, this is sure a slice Come of on. Time. You should have let me look at this the night it was hurt. You know, this has never been properly healed. You mean I can't use it to fight anymore? Well, it'll never be just the same. Yeah, but Doc, fighting's all I know. What am I going to do? Well, you'll have to find something else, that's all. That's tough luck. We're all square, aren't we? Sure, we're square, Hank. Well, good luck to you. I have to go out and look at my elephants. Fine. Jimmy, did you find a job today? Oh, lots of prospects. <laughs> I'll get one. Sure, I know you will. What are you cooking? What does it smell like? Cabbage. <laughs> How did you know? The last time I smelt that smell, that's what it was. It smells good. Jimmy Nolan, I've told you time and time again you must wear an apron when you're in the kitchen. <laughs> now you look like a real cook. Mm-hmm. Jimmy, remember Uncle Robert told us we could come down to his plantation any time we wanted to? Yeah, I remember. But I wouldn't want to do that, sis. I wouldn't feel right. Sure, I know how you feel. I wouldn't feel right either. I wonder who that can be. Say, Jimmy, do bill collectors work after 6 o'clock? They work 25 hours a day, sis. Yes, sir. And what do you want? I'm just a poor boy waking my way through college. Will you buy a magazine, lady? No, there's nobody home. Jimmy, it's not a bill collector, it's a peanut vendor. Come on in, Mr. Donovan. My Dunham. sweetheart, <laughs> just as... Sweet and beautiful as ever. Thank you, sir. Hello, Eddie. Hi there, you big gorilla. Come over here. I want to talk to you. Boy, the depression is now over. Yeah? You're about to go to work. Work? No. You remember Kate? Club Royal Kate? Sure. You're her new assistant manager. Assistant manager? Assistant manager. Bouncer. Oh. Well, it's a job, isn't it? Sure. When do I start? Tonight. Tonight? Huh? Well, I'll need a tuxedo, won't I? Yeah. Oh, and I think I'd put it down in the trunk, and I don't know. The pants need pressing. You haven't got a tie. Why don't you get one from Eddie? Well, listen, you go and press a pants. Would oh, you have another tie? Sure, get Jim. Get a new pair okay. of socks. You'll have to get in your shoe shop.
afternoon. And good evening. And good night. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, as I was about to say... <laughs> James must have put my golf balls in the wrong pocket. <laughs> Folks, just take a little more of your time to announce the next act. We have six Broadway dancing babies. And oh, baby, including that dear little star of yours that you love so much, Adele. <laughs> Stand still. All right. There. Thanks. all evening. I haven't had a chance to thank you for getting me this job. Oh, that's all right. We're glad to have you with us. No use, Jimmy. That road is closed. You'll have to detour. Oh, is that so? Who closed it? A man with a pleasing bank. Oh, yeah? Anything serious? You should worry. Come on down, meet the help. Hello, Ralph. Meet Jimmy Noah. A good fellow. Ralph Langdon, Jimmy. How are you? Glad to know you. Glad to know you. I've seen you in the ring. As a matter of fact, I lost my shirt on your last fight. Yeah? <laughs> well, you should complain. I lost everything. <laughs> well, I can pop up. I won. Oh, I see some new customers. Ralph, don't forget to tell him I'm a jealous woman. What's that crack about a jealous woman? Oh, she's kidding me about that little girl out there. Which girl? The one in front. Oh, you mean Adele? I don't know what her name is. That's Adele, all right. She happens to be my sister. No, really? Yeah. Say. You and I are going to be pals. <laughs> you and how many others? Well, I'll be back. i got to move around here. Yeah, see you later. That's all right. Forget about it. I know, but it wasn't very kind of me. Well, I'll tell you how you can square things. How? By being friends. Oh, that's easy. I think you're kind of nice. Yeah? <laughs> I've been thinking the same thing about you. I've been watching you all night. I know it. I can see you. <laughs> well, I've got to run. See you later? Maybe. Good job. 
time. Wasn't that a 12 show? Come back tomorrow night. Yes, sir. And no cover charge. We'll be here. Okay. I don't think I'm going to like that new bouncer of yours. Well, what's wrong, Jerry? Well, I don't know. He's just not the kind of a guy I like to see around a place like this. Oh, gee. Why, Jimmy's a peach. How about Adele? Did you fix it up for me? I can't fix it for you, Jerry. You'll have to talk to yourself. My sweetheart. What's the matter? Come on, Eddie, we gotta go home. Why? They're closing up. We never, gotta go home. Never go home, Jimmy, if there's any place else to go. Anyhow, I can always come and see you, can sure I? Sure you can, but come on now, we gotta get going. Oh, that's too bad. You know, Jimmy, I had it all figured out, and we you can, can only figure stay that here out on your way home. Now, and stand what? here, and right here, now, and wait for me till I get my hat, will you? All right, you get your hat, and I'll be right here. No, I'll be right here, sitting here. Everything checked, Ralph? Everything okay. Now, I've heard all I want to hear about it, Jerry. Don't be like that. What do you mean, don't be like that? Just what I said. Well, now, you know how I feel. Oh, don't do that either. Get out. Please go. Go, will you? Well, Get out. I... Didn't you hear what the lady said? Say, listen, Pug. Get out. You shouldn't have done that. Well, that's my job. What happened? I just threw that big tramp out of here. He was annoying Adele. My sweetheart, here I go and get your swell job, and the first thing you do is kick it out in the alley. What are you talking about? That was Fillmore, the guy that owns the place. Oh, I wouldn't if I were you. Well, no cheap pug's gonna throw me around and get away with it. He's through, I tell you. But, Jerry, he was only doing what he thought was his duty. Besides, he doesn't know who you are. Just leave him to me. I'll see that it doesn't happen again. Come on, calm down. Besides, I want to talk to you a little business. Come in here. I wish you hadn't have thrown him out. Why not? I'd throw him out of here for you any day. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. I got you into this mess. You didn't get me in any mess. I hope it didn't hurt your job, though. Oh, I don't care. I don't want to hold one that way anyhow. Well, that's that. The best thing we can do is take you home. May we? All right. Why well, ain't those things make the world go round, but you shouldn't have done it, Jim. You think a little bit before you're so quick with your hand. Well, I just took what I'm paid to do. I suppose that... Hey, come here. I've changed my mind about that bouncer of yours. You'd better let him hang around for a while. Well, here we are, boy. Come on in. Where Ralph and I hang our hats. Gee, it's certainly nice. Just a place to live. Gee, I wish I had some solid peanuts. You would. <laughs> Can I make you some coffee? Please don't, Adele. Eddie and I have to go in just a minute. We'll make it as long a minute as you want to. I'm tired. I'm going to make you comfortable right now. My sweetheart. Gee, there's a nice view of the lights here, isn't there? I'll bet Mary would like this. Mary? Who is she? My kid sister. After Mother died, I brought her out here. She's a sweet kid. She's just <laughs> like you. I mean, she's... Well, <laughs> oh, it was sweet of you to say that, Jimmy. Let's close the windows and sit down. All right.
Well, I guess I'd better take him home. Oh. I'd be ashamed to awaken him. Look at how peacefully he's sleeping. Yeah, but... You must be awful tired, aren't you? Oh, not a bit. Say... You don't work in the afternoons, do you? Uh, no, not until seven. Why? Well, I was just thinking that maybe I could bring Sis over some afternoon. Or we could go to a matinee or something. That is, if, if you'd go with me. Well, why shouldn't I? Well, I was afraid that maybe you wouldn't want to, or, or you couldn't or something. Well, what made you think that? Well, I... I was just thinking maybe there's somebody else. No, there's not anyone else. Really? You mean that... that... <laughs> well, say something, can't you? You say something. Well... I can't think of anything just now. Can you? Well, I don't know. Maybe. Try. I like you, Jimmy. Gee, I think you're wonderful. Ralph. Yeah, hello, Dell. Oh, hello, Jimmy. How are you, Ralph? I thought you'd be asleep by now. Jimmy brought me home. We've just been sitting here talking. Oh. Well, I'm going to catch some sleep. I'm dead. Oh. Good night. Who's that? When he's awake, it's Eddie Donovan. Oh. Good night. Good night. I better take him home. His snoring spoils everything. Come on, let's get going. Who? What? Haven't you people gone home yet? <laughs> Come on, we've got to let Adele get some sleep. Say, now listen. I've slept on better couches than that. Sure you have. Come on, Eddie. Good night, Eddie. You know, if you'd only had some solid peanuts, I'd have had a swell evening. <laughs> Good night, Eddie. Good night, Adele. Good night, Jimmy. I'll think of something to say tomorrow night. So will I. Good night. Good night. Yet, no. I wouldn't hang around Nolan, Dell. Why? Oh, Fillmore's got something up his sleeve. <laughs> so because Jimmy gave him what he deserved? Well, it won't do you any good to hang around with him. It'll only get us both in bad. Oh, Ralph. Jerry Fillmore isn't running my life. No, but he's running your job all right, all right. <laughs> yes, and he's running yours, too. But there are other jobs. Well, I warn you. You know Fillmore's unscrupulous. Don't play with dynamite, that's all I've got to say. Ralph, I like Jimmy. And if Jerry Fillmore thinks he's going to pick my friends, then I'm going to show him how wrong he is. Good night. 
Well, remember I warned you. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Go to bed. Taking the cage for me, just a minute? I don't see why not. It's easy. All you have to do is cash the check, give him the change. Hurry, please, hurry. I'm my party's waiting. Okay. Brother, I gotta figure out how to work this. big moment. I don't know how you do it, Kate. You're always in such a good humor about everything. Well, I'm the one that has to live with myself. I might as well be good as otherwise. You look pretty happy yourself lately, Jimmy. I have been, Kate. And me breaking my big blonde heart over a brunette. Watch out, big boy. I might get you yet. Well, here I am, all locked up in a cage. See you later, Romeo. Good night, Tom. How'd you check up? Well, there's some cash missing, Kate. How much? Well, nearly $500. $500? Five well, I've checked it over and over. That'll be sweet news to tell Jerry Fillmore. You stay where you are. Landon, you can't get away with this. Steve. Yes, boss. Sit down and get the cop on the beat and bring him back here. Right. Oh, Jerry, don't be so hasty. There must be some mistake. You think we are? A lot of saps around here. The money couldn't fly out the window. You can't get away with this, Landon. Mr. Fillmore, I tell you, I don't know a thing about it. Well, we'll soon see whether you know anything about it. Well, I swear I didn't take it. What's the matter, Ralph? Nothing much except that a $500 is missing from the cash drawer. That's all. Well, you didn't do it. I know you didn't do it. Tell him you didn't. Well, I told him I don't know a thing about it. Here's the officer, boss. A large sum of money missing from the cash drawer. How did it happen? Well, it was lifted from the till. This is the cashier. You don't have any objections to being searched, do you? Why, of course not. Didn't I see you leave your cage for a few minutes tonight? Well, yes, I, I did leave for a few minutes. Nolan took my place. Well, you don't think that he did it, do you? Well, you have no objections to being searched, have you? I know. Of course not. I never put that in there. Of course you didn't. Explain it, Jimmy. Adele. It's a frame-up. That's a serious charge, young man. Take him down to the station. I'll prefer charges in the morning.
Adele. Hello, Jimmy. Gee, but I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, too. Sit down. I can't tell you how I think about you coming here every week to see me. So do I, Jimmy. Gee, you've been a brick coming out in all kinds of weather and everything. Guess there are a lot of other things you could have done. Oh, I didn't mind. You see, it's given me something to look forward to. Gee, Jimmy, won't it be wonderful when you get out of here and can get a real job? Just think, in a short time, you'll be free and... And it won't make any difference to you? I mean... About me being a jailbird? Well, it wasn't your fault. I believe in you, Jimmy. You know I believe in you. Sure I know. It's the only thing that's helped me to stand this place. How's Mary? Oh, fine. I've taken her home to live with us. Gee, Adele, I don't know how I'll ever thank you. Well, you needn't to. You see, her being there has already made such a wonderful change in Ralph. They're so happy. You mean that, that Mary and Ralph are... You'd never know him, Jimmy. Oh, they're mine. And when you're free and... And when I'm free, we'll all be together, won't we? That interesting? Ralph! You were watching for someone. Come on now, who was it? If you get angry, I'll have to tell you. I'm so angry I can't even talk. All right, then you brought it on yourself. I was watching for you. Sweet. Adele went to visit Jimmy today. Gee, I'll be glad when he gets out of there. Mary, you know... What, dear? I was just thinking. About me? Sure. We are happy, aren't we, Ralph? <laughs> you bet, honey. Visiting hours are over. All visitors must leave. Oh, I hate to go. Well, it won't be much longer. Say hello to Mary and tell Ralph to take good care of her. I will. Hurry, please. Don't Bye, forget Jimmy. next week. I won't. Bye. Where is Mary? Has she gone down to the store for a few minutes? Ralph, what's the matter? Bill, I've got to tell you something. It isn't going to be easy, but I've got to get it off my mind. All right. You tell Dell anything. Dell, I helped frame Jimmy into prison. You... what? I put that money in his overcoat. What are you talking about? Fillmore made me do it. What do you mean Fillmore made you do it? You would take the only thing that I've ever loved? You'd make a criminal out of Jimmy. Ralph? I tell you, he made me. He would have sent me to jail if I hadn't. How could he send you to jail? I took some money and I couldn't pay it back. Fillmore found out about it. And you did it to save yourself. Oh. Oh, Ralph. Oh, I had to tell you, Del. I tried to tell Mary, but... Couldn't. No. No. Mary mustn't know. How much was it, Ralph? Nearly a thousand dollars. Come on, sit down. We've got to think about Jimmy and Mary. To hurt Mary would hurt him again. We must pay that money back some way, though, Ralph. No, Dell, I'll do anything, anything, but... 
trouble is, Jimmy will be out and pretty soon. And if he sees him hanging around you, why, there's no telling what Fillmore will do. I'll take care of Fillmore. Adele, I'm not going to let you get mixed up any more with him than you are now. Oh, Ralph, how can you help it? He's got both of us. Don't you see? Both of us. You've been a sweet kid, Dell. Thank you. Well, I mean it. Well, that's awfully nice of you. Well, don't shove away from me. You know I'm crazy about you. Me and how many other girls? Oh, Dell, you know there isn't any other girl. No. Not at just this moment. Excuse me, Mom. Jimmy. Adele. What's the matter, honey? Well, so you're back again. Yes, I am. No thanks to you. I got time off for good behavior. Can you imagine that good behavior? Is that supposed to be funny? Well, why didn't you let me know? I wanted to surprise you. I guess I surprised everybody, didn't I? Well, I thought you were going to be out tomorrow. Oh, you'd have been alone tomorrow, huh? So that's the way the wind blows, eh? Mary will be back home in a little while. I know she'll be glad to see you, Jimmy. Jerry, please, I think we'd better be going we're late as it is. Oh, well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll just stay here and wait for Mary. Before you did. Sure, we're all friends. Welcome home. Oh, thanks. We're not staying here. Mary, you're coming away with me. You've got to get out of here. But, Jimmy, where will we go? Why, well, I thought that we were all going to be together. I think I know best, sis. Get your clothes, will you please? Why, of course I will, if you insist. It won't take me long to pack. Jim, did you see Adele? Yeah. I saw her. And? I found out what a sap I've been. I should have known better. What do you mean? Fillmore was here. She went away with him. She didn't tell you why? She didn't need to. I can see, can't I? She didn't go away with him because she wanted to. I didn't see anybody forcing her to go. Listen, Jim. Fillmore could have sent me to jail. I stole a thousand dollars and Fillmore knew it. He was going to send me up, then you came along and got in his way. And he made me frame you. You mean you framed me? Oh, you dirty little rat. I know it, Jim. I'd give anything in the world if I'd gone to jail instead of you. And if there's any way I can square myself with you... How are you going to square the six months I spent in that hole? I don't know, but I'll do it somehow. I'm trying to pay Fillmore back now. That's why Adele is out with him. You mean that 
Do you think she would have kept going down to prison to see you if she cared anything for him? Jim, where you going? Ralph, I didn't mean to listen, but I couldn't help hearing. Oh, I none of us are perfect. Then you mean it doesn't change you about me? Of course not. You see, I love you, Ralph, and I know Jimmy will understand. I'll explain them all. I'll see you this afternoon. Yep, oh. Jimmy, my sweetheart. I want to talk to you, Eddie. What's on your mind? You've got a lot of friends in the fight racket. I need your help. Shoot. I've got to have $1,000. My favorite amount. Listen, I'm dead serious about this, Eddie. Now, I can't tell you why I need it, but I've got to have it. Do you understand? Why, sure. And I know everyone in the fight racket, Jimmy. But does that make me Valentine? Now, look, Eddie. They're fighting a bunch of hams Friday night over on the east side. And they're offering $1,000 to anyone who can stay five rounds with Sailor King. Sailor King? You're not trying to get me to match you with Sailor King, are you? That's just what I want you to do. Now listen, Eddie, I know I'll get punched around a little bit, but I'll put on a good show, you can guarantee them that. Oh, with that bum left arm of yours, it would be suicide. And the right one never was much good. They never come back. I'm Jim. not trying to come back, I'm trying to get a thousand dollars. Now, you're gonna help me or aren't you? Oh, well, if you put it that way, I'll try. But I'll warn you, it'll always be on my conscience. Atta boy, Eddie. Who is it? Hey, honey. Oh, come in. How you doing, sugar? <laughs> well, babe, how are you? Okay. Well, Fillmore sent me. What for this time? Now, what does a man like Fillmore ever want? A pretty girl with a strong constitution and a weak mind. I know. Well, what are you going to do about it? He tells me you're having dinner with him between shows tonight. In fact, he asked me to deliver the invitation. Nice of him to give me the choice of saying yes or no. He's generous, isn't he? Well, he can be, if a girl's interested. Oh, ah, oh, no. I know you're not. I was only kidding. I hate him, Kate. If he would just let me alone, I'd be so happy. But it's men like Fillmore that think they're the world's greatest company. Oh, well. Now that I brought you the good news, I'll leave you to worry about it alone. But if I were you... You know best, kid. Thank you. You'll take care of the purse, won't you, Eddie? Purse? Oh, yeah. If there's any money to collect, I'll collect it. But I might as well be frank with you, Jimmy. I just bet my last 250 bucks should be KO'd in the first round. Yeah? Well, you'll lose. Not a chance, kid. Not a chance. But remember, you brought this on yourself. All right. It's about time I went on, isn't it, Eddie? Next bout. I hope there's a doctor in the house. Hey, how do you expect this boy to win when you talk like that, huh? What are you, upside down, friend? Why aren't you going to be optimistic like me? Of course she's going to win. I'll go home. Yeah, you'll make me sick. Way to go, Nolan, in the ring. That's all. Don't do it, Jimmy. But remember, you made me do it. Come on, Jimmy, never mind this guy. Open your kid if he's going
to Rancy, that's all. Oh, I'm walking. Did I say you'd win? Uh, did I? Did you say that arm was no good or didn't you? Oh, boy, can he fight? So, Eddie, go on, get that money now. I want to get my clothes on and get out of here. One thousand dollars? My favorite amount. Attaboy. Get those gloves off. I'm in a hurry. Wait a minute. Hey. Got... Here it is, Jimmy. And all in bills. Thanks, Eddie. I'll see you later. I've got a date with Mr. Fillmore. Fillmore? He's not going over there to play bridge. Hey, you two bananas, get your coats on and come with me. I may need you. Okay, let's go, kid. There's the money Ralph Landon owes you, and there's a piece of paper. Write out a receipt. I don't do business with jailbirds, Dolan. I said write it. All right, if you feel that way about it. Listen, Steve. 
Jimmy Nolan just went in Fillmore's private room. There may be something doing. You better go in. Okay, Kate. Oh, no, thank you. I'm looking for Ralph Landon. Uh, what did you do? Well, he's a cashier at the store. Oh, yes, right over here. And another thing, Phil Moore. I'm going to settle with you for framing me into jail. Come in. You didn't think you were going to get away with that little piece of paper, did you? Steve? Throw this jailbird out. Wait a minute, Steve. Jerry! Jimmy! Well, so that's why he... Barry, you stay here a minute. Don't let anyone in this cave. Hey, where are you going? I'm going in the office. Oh, now, wait. Lay off of me. Wait, hey, I'm going in the office. Get out of here. All right, then you're sweet. Now, Jimmy, I want you to promise me something. All right, what do you want me to promise you? I want you to promise me that after tonight, you won't fight anymore. After tonight, I won't fight anymore. Till after we're married. 